Hi, this is Rob. These are the six problems we will solve in this video. A proper fraction is when the numerator, upper part, is smaller than the denominator, bottom part. However, sometimes you still need to reduce, also called simplify, the fraction. Problem 1. Press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. This window appears. I call this the fraction template. Number 1 is the regular fraction template. Number two is the mixed number fraction template. Number three will convert an improper fraction into a mixed number fraction and vice versa. Number four will convert a fraction into a decimal. We want number one, so press the one button. Enter a 76, press the right arrow button. Enter a 384, right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the reduced fraction. The answer is 19 over 96. If you need to convert this into a decimal number, press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. We want number 4, so press the 4 button. This will take the answer here in the upper right and convert it to a decimal number. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the decimal number. As a reminder, if you get any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll press the clear button to clear the screen. Problem number two. Press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. Number one is the regular fraction template. We want number one, so press the one button. Enter a seven. Press the right arrow button. Enter a 287. Right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the reduced fraction. The answer is 1 over 41. I will press the clear button to clear the screen. Problem 3. Press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. Number 1 is the regular fraction template. We want number 1, so press the 1 button. Enter 100. Press the right arrow button. Enter a 450. Right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the reduced fraction. The answer is 2 over 9. If you need to convert this into a decimal number, press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. We want number 4, so press the 4 button. This will take the answer here in the upper right and convert it to a decimal number. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the decimal number. I will press the clear button to clear the screen. Problem 4. Press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. Number 1 is the regular fraction template. We want number 1, so press the 1 button. Enter a 155. Press the right arrow button. Enter a 225. Right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the reduced fraction. The answer is 31 over 45. If you need to convert this into a decimal number, press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. We want number 4, so press the 4 button. This will take the answer here in the upper right and convert it to a decimal number. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the decimal number. I will press the clear button to clear the screen. Problem 5. Press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. Number 1 is the regular fraction template. We want number 1, so press the 1 button. Enter a negative 252. Use the negative sign button here and not the minus sign button. Press the right arrow button. Enter a 369. Right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the reduced fraction. The answer is a negative 28 over 41. If you need to convert this into a decimal number, press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. We want number 4, so press the 4 button. This will take the answer here in the upper right and convert it to a decimal number. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the decimal number. I will press the clear button to clear the screen. Problem 6. Press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. 
Number one is the regular fraction template. We want number one, so press the one button. Enter a negative 56. Use the negative sign button here and not the minus sign button. Press the right arrow button. Enter a negative 80. Right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the reduced fraction. The answer is a positive 7 over 10. When you have a negative number as the numerator and a negative number as a denominator, the result is a positive number. If you need to convert this into a decimal number, press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. We want number 4, so press the 4 button. This will take the answer here in the upper right and convert it to a decimal number. To get the answer, press the enter button. There is the decimal number. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.